so if I unlock the door, good morning. <laughs> I had this idea and I said it in another video a couple of weeks ago where I repurposed my birds, um, cotton rope toys. Well, not really toys, perches and things of that nature because they were expensive. And now that I know that cotton is unsafe for parrots, I've replaced all of my pre-existing toys and perches with hemp rope or natural branch or even dowels. A lot of pine because that's a safe wood for parrots. Non, non or low acidic. <clears throat> so I recently finally, excuse our construction, took down Cookie's favorite, favorite swing. And it looks just hideous because she chews on it. And we're going to take off all of the cotton today and replace it with some hemp jute rope. So let's see how this goes. the tiniest filaments of cotton are coming out. And this is what your bird is ingesting when they chew on this because it's really small. There's even more you probably can't see here on the camera. But that's what your bird is slowly getting stuck in their crew and it's not getting digested. Just so you know, <clears throat> all of y'all who think your bird is safe and everything is fine and, oh, well, I monitor my bird and make sure they don't chew. It doesn't take a whole lot. So if you're willing to have that on your conscience, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, so I got all of the cotton off of our little triangle thingamabobber. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna leave these because they're pretty much useless. I'm not sure that cookies, well, actually it looks like there's a little bit of nicks on there. I hear some parrots like plastic toys. I'm not sure if Cookie does or not. So for the moment, I'll leave them and I'm gonna see how it goes wrapping this around here basically to see what kind of thickness I get because cookie seems to prefer something a little bit larger close to an inch in diameter which means a pretty tight wind with this so let's see what I can do okay so I figured out what I'm doing I basically started to unwind it by twisting it towards itself instead of into the tighter direction. And it opened up the side so that it would begin to slowly wrap around. to keep winding the entire coil of rope through the entire thing. So that took me a while. And now I'm starting my second wrap around. So my second layer to make it thicker. And I think it's gonna be a good thickness. I might do just the bottom. 
that's a good idea. I just thought of that as I was saying that. So I'm just gonna do the bottom and I'll probably go back over it one more time. Oh, that's the side at the top. Apparently I'm doing <laughs> this. Apparently I'm doing the whole thing because I put the chain at the top. So, ugh, what is going on? Okay, my husband has a pretty impressive collection of zip ties. I think I'm gonna use those to secure the rope underneath here because I literally tied a knot and it just started sliding when I was twisting it. Because I just wanna do extra layers on the bottom here. ridiculous but it's taken me three days to catch cookie on her new swing oh hi cookie is that comfy is that cozy do you like your swing and the screaming it's dark because my child just walked in here you look very cozy and you fit very well Good girl. 